Wow, look at that place. I think anybody lives there. Daniel's sending us to a guy that's been collecting his whole life. Is that it? This is it, right up here. He's at the point where he wants to sell some stuff. This is a perfect opportunity for a picker. So how long you been collecting? Y'all, y'all, I don't know, we're 50 years. Oh, my really? gosh. Yeah. Sounds like you and me. We've been around yeah. since we've been little kids, too. Can we take a look around? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Which way right. you want to go? Right through this puddler. <laughs> All right. We walk out in the back into the garage. This is my <sighs> accumulation. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's insane. Everywhere you look, there's handlebars, gas tanks. Every corner is cluttered, and there's stuff hanging from the ceiling. This is going to be an awesome pick. What's under here? Oh. I just see this. I see this. Oh, oh I was Lord. I y'all were going to I see, see it. I'm afraid we are going to see it. He pulls up the black tarp, and boom, there it is. A 1937 knucklehead. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. God dang. <laughs> Anything that you can find pre-1940 that's hardly knucklehead is like mining gold. This frame is butchered, man. The chassis is all jacked up. It's chopped. It's raked. It's got a lot of incorrect parts. But the motor is sitting there looking beautiful. Now I've got the push rods, push rod tubes, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff for this engine. We see knuckleheads from time to time. But finding somebody that wants to sell one, no matter the condition, is really rare. What are you looking to get out of this, Eddie? Or is this something you'd even sell? I know it sounds crazy. It'd take five years. Five grand to get all this here? Yeah. Would you sell just the motor? I would, but I'd throw the frame in, too. <laughs> so you're, bu you're buying it all? <laughs> buying it. No, yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, really. I hear you. I'm just asking, you know. Yeah. I'm not really seeing any value in the chassis, but this motor is worth fighting for. I love the motor. If you were to separate it and just sell the motor, I'd be interested in it for three grand. If Eddie lets go with this 1937 knucklehead motor, that alone is worth the trip to Georgia. I'm going to do that. You going to do it? I'm going to do it. Any Harley enthusiast would walk barefoot through a junkyard without a tetanus shot to buy this motor. And I just bought it. Eddie. Yeah. Now that I've got my hands on this thing and I'm moving it around, yes. I'm kind of liking it. Yeah, it's raked. Yeah, it's chopped. Yeah, the fork's been extended. But you know what? It's got a cool front wheel. The rear wheel's in decent condition. It's got the original transmission. Yeah, man, I'm feeling like Fonda. As a picker, it's important to know when you make a mistake. I should have bundled the motor and the chassis together in the first place. You were at five grand on yeah. the whole thing. Right. OK, I already bought the motor for right. three grand. Right. How about another thousand for this? So it'd be 4,000 total for the whole package. Big thing is all right, let me, see. let me get off of it for a second here. Mike really lost his leverage when he paid up for the motor. Now Eddie's got his three grand, and he's at his mercy for the chassis. For a thousand, it looks good. Met a grand, four grand. You were at five. You're only, I'm only, you're only coming off a G note. It looked better at 12 and a half. <laughs> I'm going to be really bummed if I have to leave this behind today, but there's no way I can do more than a thousand. Uh, go ahead. You want to do 1000 Yeah. All right, 1000 bucks. I bought the 37 knucklehead motor and the chassis separately. But this is a really good deal. Well, we appreciate you letting us look around, man. Heck yeah. I mean, it's been fun. Eddie was such a cool guy. I mean, this is a guy that's been riding motorcycles longer than I've been alive. But he had the same exact passion as we did. Got it? Yeah, get it up there. Hey, that's my side of the van. I bought the chopped Harley frame with the knucklehead motor for four grand. I'm going to ask 7500 Hey, it was an honor. Thanks. It really was. It goes both ways, nice to meet the partner. It's always nice to meet somebody who's got the same passion we do. I might go out and buy some more stuff. Just don't tell my wife, man. Thanks, Thanks man. Care, See All ya. Right. Thank Take you. Care. Days like today, when I can find a 1937 Harley knucklehead engine. See you, Eddie. Ciao. Keep rolling. That's the kind of stuff that keeps me motivated, keeps me passionate, keeps me on the road. It makes you think, hey, it's not all found. It's still out there. <laughs>